Hi Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. Okay, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, Virgo. Nine of Wands, High Priestess, Three of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Okay, unfortunately for somebody, Nine of Wands can represent nine months, meaning pregnancy. Somebody, you might think someone is pregnant, and they are. They may be having twins, but this is just for one person. If you think your intuition is telling you that someone is going to have children, and this really makes you upset because you know it's your partner that got them pregnant, you need to trust that because that is what happened, okay? Some of you may also find out you're pregnant and it was unexpected and you're not really happy, but um, others of you are thinking about your past, you're stuck in your past, um, someone from your past could be coming back to you. This is not going to work out. I think you already know that. So an ex could be coming around you guys and talking to you. For most of you, I think this just like irritates you more than anything, but, um, and see if that matters. Okay. Yeah. Fool, not worrying about it. three of cups could be going on a date. Two of cups. Wow. For some, wow. For some of you, you may be meeting your soulmate, your twin flame with all this energy. Um, Knight of wands is under the deck, but again, I'm not too worried about that right now. Some of you have dealt with a lot of players. You know what a player looks like, what they, you know, how they act. You're getting good at this. You're listening to your intuition. This person, I don't believe at this point in the reading is a player. This looks like someone who may be very genuine, but we'll have to go through the reading. Um, something's going to balance out regarding your past with the Six of Cups and Justice. Something may come back around, but not an X you don't like. Because you have Fool, which is brand new. You have the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. Which, obviously, this can be a, re a date with a soulmate. So, let's go back around, though, and see what's going on here. Five of Wands. Oh, this, this was important. Okay. Okay, so you are worried, though, this person is a player. Okay. Wow. It always changes. Well, I always look under the deck because if it really needs to come out and be known, it comes out. So, for some of you, this is an ex coming back. You're going to start over with them. It's not going to change. Let me just say that for someone who's watching who you're considering taking an ex back, you might have been married to them, or you may they may be saying they want commitment at this time. Six months from now, seven months, five months, whatever, five weeks, they are not going to be committed anymore. They will cheat again. You will end up single again, okay? They are a player. Be careful with the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups, and Intuition. If you think this person is going to only, you know, be a one-night stand, that is all they're going to give you. I kind of feel like there's two sets of you watching. It's kind of the same energy, but one of you, this is someone brand new, and you're thinking this is the right one. This is my soulmate. This is not. This is this is listen to your intuition. This is one night stand, and then they're out of there. Brothers of you, same thing, but it is an ex who you want to take back. Um, some of you, you were married because I have Justice and Hierophant, and they said they changed. They haven't changed. They won't change. They may do great for a few weeks. It's showing up right here that they are not. They are going to have a wandering eye again. Or you, this could be you because you know what? If you get back together with someone and you're not really into him and you're thinking, well, I'll give him, I'll give him a second chance. We were married. Maybe you have kids together. You want to give it another shot. You're not going to be happy. You really aren't. It's going to be a lot of arguing about the same old thing. I put one more card on the five of wands and then I'm going to switch deck, decks for a different meeting. Yeah, there could be a fire sign female involved. If this person left you or cheated on you for, with this person or you did that, this whoever they cheated with, is the whole scenario is going to come back around. You're going to argue about it again. You're not going to be able to let it go. They may even be talking to this person um, still, okay? So <clears throat> let's see if we can get different messages in. All right, you guys are thinking about something. Whoops. Wow, it's kind of showing up here also. Um, you may be worried that someone who's offering love, there's a third party, and you're worried that they're not being sincere. You may be arguing about this with them. 
a lot of arguing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make sure you speak up. Say what you need to say. Don't hold back. Get to the point with them. Don't, you know, argue about other things. Get to the point of what's pissing you off. Because I do see here that they are, someone's giving, offering love, but there is someone else involved. They are lying. Let me go back around. This may be you if you don't want to tell them. Yeah, world is ending it, but it's probably the other person. You know, this person is bad news. Just end it now. It could be a Capricorn, but it doesn't really matter. You see things clearly, but you don't want to trust your intuition. This person maybe also can argue really well. They may, be, they may be very articulate, and it's hard for you to even win a battle. Like every time you come up with something, they just they have a good response. But you know what you know. You can see things clearly, but maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> pardon me, you can't communicate it is what I'm getting. So that's why, like, this person may be good. Like I said, they can run you around in circles. Page of Swords, there is so much mis mistruth with the Page of Swords in reverse. Um, this person is just telling you stories. They can be lying to you about what's going on. Imagination running wild. This is what you're doing. This is what they're doing to you. Okay? you it, It's consuming you. Like, what are they doing when they're not here? Who are they with? Are they lying? Are they cheating? Yes, they are. All right. So let me go back around one more time. Let's see if we can get some good news in. Because this person, whoever this is you're dealing with, um, and you know if, if I'm referring to you, this is toxic. This isn't healthy in the world. It needs to, you know, end. All right. Ten of Wands, <clears> the <throat> Have Hope, Empress, that's nice energy, Four of Cups, a new opportunity, Eight of Swords, though, you are stuck in your head, Eight of Swords, you cannot get past this. When I see Ten of Wands after the world, it means that, yes, you are going to have maybe a few more weeks, maybe a month of feeling down, depressed, overwhelmed, and happy, but it's a Ten, it's with the world, this should end, so have hope with the star. Um... Obviously, that's a card of Libra, but I hate reading all the signs because you guys are all with different people, so it doesn't really matter. Empress is nice energy because that, to me, is someone who is, you know, starting something new, creative, dating again. Four of Cups, there is an opportunity coming in. Now, it may be from this person, so this just may be here. That's why you're stuck in your head. So, again, we know to avoid this person because they may be offering another chance at a relationship with them, but, again... You don't want that. Nine of Cups is under the deck, so there is a wish coming in for you. Since it's under the deck, it, you know, to me, I always say it's lurking, it's coming in. If it's a person, sometimes that means a person may be watching you, but um, you just got to get rid of this, this old thing. <clears throat> and again, a lot of it's stuck in your mind. So again, if you haven't said what you need to say, you need to say it. Even if you can't say it well. You can't articulate it. You can't get out the words, you know, the way you want them. And this person always makes you feel stupid. You just got to say it. You got to do it, okay? Because this person, this tells me this person's lying. They're coming up with bullshit. So let me do one more card on the Ten of Wands. Because I'm going to see how you can get out of this Ten of Wands energy. Hierophant. One more card. Page of Wands, okay. Eight of Coin. So this could be energy of a new person coming in with a Page of Wands. Could be a new love offer with Hierophant. It could be that this old relationship, though, the Hierophant weighs you down. You need to get out of this. But, um... Some of you, this is a job. This is something new, work-related coming in, or school, something along that line. One more card, please, of the Eight of Swords. For some of you, you may need to just communicate with someone and talk to someone else. You need to get, like, an outside opinion. Um, counseling, but probably not maybe that. If You may need that, but someone who could give you good advice. Yeah, because I'm getting here, like, there's someone who's who's around you who sees things very clearly that can help you cut through the bullshit and give you good advice. There also may be someone around you, again, who is interested in you. Because this right here, I'm feeling like there is someone else. I don't feel like it's an air sign. But 
there is a beginning here. Like someone has their eye on you, but maybe not in a love sense, but they want to help you or protect you. They see what's going on. This can be a friend. They see things clearly and they have good advice. It's kind of what I'm feeling off of these cards. Like the Hierophant to me almost feels like advice with this. But <clears throat> again, for some of you, this is someone who is interested in you with the Page of Wands. That's flirtatious energy to me, a message that's good, something that can grow. This person likes you though with the Empress. You may or may not be interested in them right now, but give it a chance to get out of this energy that's not worth being stuck in. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.